Hello, I'm the Irresolute Cartographer, and this is the 165th video of my Fallout 76 Surveil series. Here we are at Lake Reynolds, taking a look at the map. We're in the ash heap, just to the south of Lewisburg. It's this carousel icon here. This is a creepy location based on a real-world creepy location, but we'll talk more about that later. Now, the enemies you're going to find here are Mirelurks. Normal Mirelurks, occasionally Mirelurk Hunter, but no Mirelurk Kings or Queens. The collectible notes here are Aster, wood piles, logs, soot flowers, and wild carrot flowers. There are a couple of collectibles here, we'll get to those as we find them, but let's take a look at the site. We've got this old seat swing here, pretty broken down, an old ferris wheel. At the base of the ferris wheel we have this uh, dead settler, she's got a gun, a pipe pistol, occasionally she's got some 38 rounds with her, not right now. Come over here, we've got the old campground. A couple of picnic tables, a couple of grills, a little bit of junk here and there, some astro flowers, wood piles, some more junk there, and beneath this tarp tent, let's come around this log, you can see there's another corpse here. This one surrounded by junk, a beer, and some imitation seafood there on the ground. Now we can come over here where there's another campsite that was clearly, well, I think at least clearly pre-war. A bunch of skeletons, another wood pile, something crazy happened here, not exactly, exactly sure what, maybe they were camping at the time of the bombs. Now we can come over here, there's a dead responder, a fire breather to be specific. I don't know why this person's here, my guess is that they are part of the push to go into the Big Ben Tunnel, and this was maybe where they were uh, staging their attack on the tunnel before all of them died. Now there's a weapon mod right here, this is one of the only two collectibles you can find at this site. Along with that there's junk around here. And again, when I say only two collectibles, that's based on my five times of visiting this place specifically for this video. Now, coming over here, playground. Still have a couple of picnic tables. But along with that, there's the jungle gym and the sandbox. Okay, coming over here, a bait shop maybe. Something to rent canoes to go play around in the lake. Now, along with that, we have boats. So probably renting the boats as well. A couple of uh, petrified corpses lying around. Alright, a couple more grills, some more junk, some more food, in this case vegetarian ham and boiled water. I found a beer there before as well, so anyway though. Why don't we come over here to the lake itself. Now there's not really anything to find around the lake. It looks interesting, but there's no collectible nodes out there. Again, along the edge of the bank there's some wild carrot flowers there, but other than that, Nothing really else to see out there. There is a something of a weird little like land bridge that it's semi-submerged where you can basically run across the lake. If you follow this along here, there's a canoe. Nothing in there, but there's a paddle there. It can't pick that up, so again, nothing. And we can just keep on running. So again, kind of strange, but you can literally run across this lake. So keep that in mind. I checked the bottom of the water on boat okay uh mole miners anyway i check the bottom of the lake over here nothing on this side but on this side there actually is something to see and we're gonna go take a look at that there is actually two things to see over there so the first thing is let's see if it's actually gonna show up okay i don't see it but there's uh occasionally sometimes you can find some pre-war money flowing in the water and there's a reason for that, and that reason is, let's see if we can't find it again. There it is. <laughs> this safe. You can break into that, but again, there's some pre-war money, and this stuff does actually float sometimes, so. And you can easily get diseases, as I just did, so watch out for that. But going back to the surface, there's a second thing to find here, and you can actually see it from the surface. And so if we dive back down, we've got a couple alien toys next to this little uh, alien uh, ship play place that's shrunken down. And sometimes you can find a fusion core in there. I found one. I thought it would be more common, so I didn't film it, unfortunately. But you can occasionally find a fusion core in there. So, But again, that's uh, if you're willing to risk the, uh, the waterborne diseases. Alright, so I said at the beginning I would talk a little bit more about this site in the real world. It's based on the Lake Shawnee Abandoned Amusement Park in Mercer County, West Virginia. At the uh, In the description, I'm going to link to the Mercer County government website that actually talks about this place. And they've got some really creepy footage there. It's got a little bit of the history of the site, which is 
a bit dark, to say the least. So again, I'm going to link that site in the description so you can take a look for yourself. Before we go though, I almost forgot I need to show you the full list of all the junk you can find here. Alright, I think that'll do it. This has been the Erased Loot Cartographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.